Hello, and welcome to, I guess, a series of uh, Zorbus. I've been uh, thinking a lot about this game since I did my Let's Try, and uh, I, I think I, I, you know, I barely scratched the surface of this one, and it really appealed to me for a number of reasons, most of them being, like, quality of life things. Um, but also, I, I think that this one just kind of speaks to me. It's it's a bit closer to what I know, and uh, and I, I really enjoyed it. So I'd like to uh, try more of it. I've got the ma manual uh, opened up on my second monitor here. I'm going to be flipping through it occasionally, um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna learn a bit more. So um, I am gonna probably I kind of want to make a new character. Uh, I don't want to try anything as, as complicated as a wizard. I'm, I'm sure that the wizard is not all that complicated, although my my uh, aversion to wizards is always like that is that is once you've learned the game um, very thoroughly and then and then maybe um, the leader. Oh, an Asimar. Oh, that takes me back. Uh, Asimar are, uh, as I ever call, they're a Forgotten Realms creature. And uh, I think they're they're like um part they're kind of like part angel um like the the scary form of of uh angels not not necessarily like the the nice kind but yeah they they are an interesting character tieflings uh you know most people know what tieflings are i mean this is kind of relevant now i'm, I'm actually a little bit worried for zorbus uh, considering the the recent debacle that uh wizards of the coast are are doing but anyway i'm not going to talk about that Animal friend, close combat ranged, expert enchanter, um, natural leader, team spirit. I just like, I kind of want to like, was it ar archetype characters? Oh, I see there are different forms. Of, uh, these are just like different genders. Uh, yeah, let's just try a basic archer. Um, so, you know, I had a couple of uh, helpful tips in my comments and uh, if you want to leave me more helpful tips in the comments i i, I don't mind i'm gonna open the quick binds uh is that no that's never mind that's not the quick button f12 manage quick slots i thought that's what i pressed manage quick slots press key to use oh my god okay apparently as soon as i start recording you're gonna hear banging okay that's really good Okay, it's an hour later and I've forgotten everything I was doing. Um, the the hammering has stopped, so that's nice. But the squeaking continues. That's my uh, my mic arm, which is probably on its last legs. Hold on, let me see if I can. No, it's it's just bad. It's just broken. Okay, never mind. Um, so I'm gonna try uh, try my best here. I'm gonna have to remember or relearn some of the controls here. You'll uh, hopefully you'll bear with me for just a mo moment moment um give me a second here looking at the controls so we've got our staff here is this staff a reach weapon is it a reach weapon i don't think it is oh well, maybe it doesn't oh yeah reach properties reach okay so we can attack this now there's supposed to be a button for switching um our weapon sets the weapon set is w w to switch weapon sets um and that brings us to our sling now i am going to take some damage for doing that but um you know sometimes learning is painful oh i thought maybe we killed them but no in fact they went berserk we're not doing so well but um you know that is to be expected they look like they're they have zero health how are they still alive okay they died um, now there is a way to heal, to wait until healed, but, uh, oh, you know what? There's a, there's a button in here that lets us look up buttons quite quickly here. Um, F12 is screenshot, toggle champions, quick, quick slots, switch quick slot items. So it's backspace, not F12. I thought control F12 was, um, fiddling with quick slot buttons, but that's fine. Rest round, rest health rest stamina okay so we it's the um it's the slash mark hold on cannot rest while hostile uh creatures are seen where where is that where oh i see it's it's gonna be down there we can't really see it 
Um, goblin strikes you. Oh, that's 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 the log. Sorry, there's a lot of learning here right now. I'm gonna grab this dagger real quick, and I'm gonna move into here, and we're gonna um, close this door. I'm gonna have to figure out how to close the door. Give me give me a moment. Uh log block area. There's a there's a very easy way to do this. I know that. Inventory. It's prob. No, examine. How does one? close the door it's really easy i know it i know it is um hmm i think it's like alt down yeah i actually remembered nice go me all right now resting until healed now we're fully healed and we're gonna go ahead and switch to our sling and uh hopefully that'll do us a bit better now is that fire beetle mostly harmless dangerous okay we don't necessarily want to dabble with that now it's um, I'm pretty sure it's not aggressively hostile like its health bar kind of indicates that it's it's you know it, it would definitely attack us given um, given any provocation but uh, you know for the most part it's fine I'm assuming that these um, the the coloration of um, the names here are indicating uh, their challenge level now we are unfortunately uh, bound to fight this guy distance to target is five range for current action is one to seven okay so good good information there this is the thing that i really liked about this game was that the information the the, the ease like once you get used to the controls and there are quite a few hotkeys for sure but once you get used to things a little bit um it, it, it's a lot more accessible than i think a lot of uh traditional roguelikes at least that i've played um okay so we're potentially in a danger zone here this guy is going to be tough. Maybe we could get some infighting going on. I mean, this fire beetle, uh, it looks like their bar is turning more red. Yeah, okay, so they get hostile based on proximity, but they are not friends to this adventure. So they are, we did actually manage to provoke some infighting. So I'm going to go ahead and fight this rat instead. And then now that they're running away, we're going to switch back to our sling and try and hit them. And we did, and that was good. I'm actually like, uh, yeah, like I, 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 something about this game just like really resonates with me. I really appreciate that uh, for one thing, um, the the world, this you know the kind of the, um, the hierarchy of creatures doesn't feel super like simplistic. You know, like the, the fire beetle and the novice adventurer are both enemies to me, but that does not mean that they are, uh, you know, friends. So I, I, I like that. Let's see if we can't get this guy to fall into this trap. Oh, he was clever. He moved around it. He continued to move around it. Oh, no, they uh, have the fire beetles. Oh, okay, the fire beetle and the dude did not seem to make friends for a moment there. Or maybe they were kind of running away from each other. I don't want to pick up these bullets. Um, We have our sling equipped, so let's try and throw sling some bullets at this goblin and then we'll switch to our staff you want to do it when there's like actually since the staff is a reach weapon we might want to do it with more distance no okay so we've got ourselves a longbow i'm wondering if the long well, we'll pick up the longbow i'm not going to pick up the morning star although maybe i don't know uh base damage does it tell us dps action cost uh, yeah, it does. well, DPR. D I guess that's damage per round, 4.3, and then the staff is 2.5. But the staff is a reach weapon, and the Morning Star is not. However, um, this is a kind of a D&D &D universe. The Morning Star is going to provide us with blunt damage, although I guess the staff will as well. Yeah, that's blunt, so never mind. Um, let me see here. What, uh, what does the Morning Star provide us? Okay, just blunt. So you know what? Let's never mind. Let's let's not pick that up. You want to carry um, some different damage types. If you think this dungeon is deadly, just wait till you get to the maze. Everyone just loves mazes. I will be amazed by the mazed. Um, altar unlooted. All right. Ooh, some nice stuff on that altar. There's a bastard sword. This bastard sword properties versatile. I'm not sure what that means. I would like to, if we could, uh, I guess if I click on it, it's going to um, switch. Great club is going to provide us with blunt again. Great and two-handed, of course. 
uh, Warhammer Versatile, it does provide both Blunt and Pierce. It's versatile, so it doesn't actually... I don't think that means that it uh, it's not two-handed. Actually quite interested in this. Ability requirements, we do meet their body requirements for the Great Club. Um, this Bastard Sword provides us with Slash, so I'm going to pick up the Bastard Sword and the Warhammer. Um, I'll pass on the Great Club. Some good stuff there. I wonder if... Can we, like, you know, worship these statues? No, I don't know. Creature noise, okay. Uh, maybe we want to switch to the Warhammer. So this is 3.9, this is 2.5. I I think, it, you know, there's something to be said about uh, switching. And then this is a one-handed, so we could actually switch to something offhand. Uh, I'm not really sure how dual wielding in this game works. Uh, I guess weapon or shield. Suitable item or equipment slot set one offhand. Okay, so apparently there is no nothing suitable for our offhand. Um, I guess I guess the dagger is not good, huh? Doesn't work for an offhand. Um, there's a way to switch. Once when you're in your inventory, there's a way to switch from your your main hand to your offhand. There's there's a couple of keybinds in this that do add a small bar for entry, unfortunately. But, um, I don't, I don't really mind. Uh, blocking areas for mono. Yeah, there's some fun stuff with the auto explore. I should, I actually, I wanted to have like multiple pages open for the manual because there are certain pages that I'd like to keep open. Uh, specifically the auto explore page. You're going to have to bear with me a little bit here as I look things up. Um, I'm trying... Autopilot to next unlooted container. Okay, here we go. Here are the map um, The map navigator autopilot auto explore and then uh, what I want is um, continuous auto explore Which basically auto explores until uh, a hostile enemy shows up, which is kind of what I'm used to in caves of cud So uh, what we want to do is switch to our sling And try and hit him. Oh, we did actually manage to hit him. We're gonna take a hit here. Oh, never mind Never mind, he's gonna run away, so we wanna switch back to our um sling and we managed to manage to kill him and he got he dropped some hide armor. And I'm pretty I have to imagine the hide armor is actually very good for us. Uh I'll pick up this short sword as well, because it might be worth using over the bastard sword. Uh, okay, the bastard sword is versatile. I didn't realize that. I guess versus uh, versatile might mean um that you can use it either one handed or two handed. But yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so in that case, since we have a bastard sword and that's 4.5, this short sword is not going to really do it for us. So we'll go ahead and drop that. Um, not ready to drop our staff just yet. We have robe of protection right now. That is offering us resistance modifiers for all forms of damage. Oh, I say all forms of damage. All forms of melee damage. There's many forms of damage. But this one offers resistance modifiers for two. And critical defense modifier, but um, this one's a little bit weaker against magic. We haven't really encountered anything magic, so I'm not too worried. Um, so, you know, things are things are good so far. Let's do another control E. Oh, I've talked about Sturges. I talked about Sturges in my last, in my in my let's try. Um, so let's, let's, you know, I think we'll be okay. Oh, they managed to, they managed to approach me and then shoot me. In the same turn, um, I say shoot me, uh, poison me. Um, so this is like super not good. I don't know. Are we still poisoned? This chest is locked. A cobalt key is required to open it. You may either try to disable the lock or try to force the chest open. How, how, how does one disable the lock? Oh, lock pick. Oh, I, I see. So in here we have what? A short bow. Uh... I, I, thanks, I guess. DPR 2.9. 2.9! It's actually better. It's actually better than uh, the longbow. That's very strange. I, I guess that makes sense. I imagine the longbow has better range. It does. Um, I will take a 0.1 DPR loss for one extra tile of range. Um, kit a fireball trap. Or is it trap? Uh, okay, we are we are okay now. We should rest until healed. Yeah, I, I don't know. I really something about this game is just like really nice. I it's 
I, I think it's kind of rare, um, at least these days, to find a traditional roguelike with a really good quality of life features. Now, now, don't don't get me wrong. Not this game isn't perfect. Um, for one thing, it's hard to capture. I don't know what it is about um, traditional roguelikes that are are they're, they're difficult to capture. That was nice. Managed to kill them for for nothing. Um, I have to. I'm using display capture right here uh, right now, and uh, you know I I've talked about display capture. I can't be trusted with display capture. I really can't. I'm just like yo display capture, and then I'm like immediately showing like highly personal information. Um, it's it's just bad. Blorg. Okay. Are you a friend? Actually, they are a friend. They have a friendly bar. Maybe they're um, grateful for me freeing them. I went ahead and broke that test tube. Let's do another control E. We have a dog. A kobold outcast. Uh, maybe we could tame the dog. You fiend. No, no, no. <laughs> Large animal movement in the next room. Um, ooh, 20 arrows, 26 arrows. Definitely useful. Uh, hand axe. I wonder if we can throw those. War pick. Interesting. Oh, oopsie. I walked right into this guy. I didn't think he... A novice adventure. Okay. We're gonna have to switch weapons. They, I guess they missed us. Are they dangerous? They are dangerous. They have leather armor, lantern, and club. Well, we, we might get lucky here. And we have our um, super ability... Of, uh, of action surge or health surge, sorry. Uh, we should be okay though. They're fleeing, so we should be able to get the kill with uh, a nice, nicely aimed bullet. Uh, they're still alive, I think. Human noises. I like how you can hear, hear uh, kind of where they're they're going. All right, there we go. That was that was a little bit dicey there. Uh, that's, that chest is still full of a uh, short bow. All right, let's rest until healed. They were uh, they were running right towards my my good friend the the slime. Um, all right, we're good. Secret door. Ooh, another secret door. Apparently, our character is very attentive. Ash Mephit. Well, they don't seem super dangerous, but um, let's switch to our warhammer. Oh killed immediately we actually got more experience from that from than from the adventure um what kind of stuff do we have on this closed helm oh there's a lot of stuff here but uh auto picked from container kit a fireball tra oh okay we, we just picked up a bunch of traps amazing okay and we have a club plus two dpr uh, 5.1 dang um so 1d6 plus two versus our um i have well let's pick it up uh this leather armor is not better than what we've got but um i don't know if things have degradation in this game also i should check out this large shield i don't know why i didn't um the sable magic search this closed helmet is going to offer um us a little bit of protection against criticals but it is also um going to make it harder for us to uh discover secret things unfortunately but here let's uh yeah okay we can we can wear this large shield again it's gonna be bad for this is skill modifiers magic negative four meaning i think that means that when we try and cast spells uh we're gonna take a, a hit we're, we're not gonna be able to cast them as easily but we don't really cast spells um at least not right now i don't know about later we'll talk about later when we get there um, this offers some damage, but it's mostly for, uh, yeah, we, we can, we can mostly wear it. Now, I wonder, do I have to equip it for both weapon sets? It seems like I might have to, but it's only available on one weapon set. I don't know. Is this like, is there offhand? No, we don't, we, we have a different, how, do, how does one equip this for, hmm. Maybe you can't use it while you're using a sling. It kind of makes sense. Because, you know, imagine trying to um, fumble for bullets and, and put them in your sling while you're also holding a shield. 
I'm going to be using our sling for a little bit longer before I switch to our longbow. Longbow is 2.8. This thing is 2.5. It's only a slight damage increase, but the main thing is that it has better range. I don't know about accuracy. Is accuracy a thing in this game? Uh, it might be a thing, but it might be a thing for us. Like, our, our character has accuracy and not uh, it's not based on the weapon. Ooh, we got a bunch of baddies in here. I should, uh, shouldn't open doors while I'm holding my bow. Um, so we're gonna walk them in here. I am kind of walking myself. Wow, okay. Um, that was clever. They, they filled the room rather than, um, I don't know. Did, is, was that my bad? Did I do that badly? I'm a little bit worried about what's going on right here, but I managed to kill both. I'm gonna go ahead and use my action surge just to, um, weather out the poison. We're gonna go ahead and close this door and I will rest until healed. And I'm going to press the other one, which is going to rest until our stamina bar fills up. Um, we can also wait just a little bit longer. You know, something I do appreciate that I don't have to deal with in this game is uh, hunger. I, I actually really cannot stand the obsession with putting hunger meters in like every single game. You, 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 can, you can call me out for that if you want, but I just like, I know it's an immersion thing maybe, but I, I just find it to be like a huge pain in the butt. Um, okay, so this Warhammer is uh, 3.9. We just picked up a really cool weapon, this Halberd, which is 4.2. It is not as good, but um, what is what kind of damage does it have? Pierce and Slash. So it has two different um, weapon types, but it also has Reach. That being said, we don't get the... We, it's a two-handed weapon, so I actually... I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna use it. Um, I think I will drop the staff at this point. I have much better things than the staff. Um, someone can let me... You can let me know. Maybe maybe there's a reason to keep the staff. But also, I got a longbow um, plus one. Which is just a fancy way of saying it's enchanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick, uh, drop our original longbow. And eventually, I will use those things. Uh, oh, I picked up a kit. Interesting. Okay, so let's hit that control E again. Humanoid skeleton. Now, it's a good thing we're using a warhammer. Because that warhammer is going to be very good. Is that a scimitar on the ground? It is a scimitar on the ground. 4.2. Oh, I'm good. We've got. I think we've got our, our uh, weapon types pretty much set up. Hostile. Um, this is... Oh, germalane. Germalane... They seem to be pretty tough, so I'm going to switch to our sling, and we're going to hit them a couple. Actually, we'll switch right now. Even getting that one hit is a is a nice... Oh, they've already, they're already fleeing, so we're going to want to switch back to our sling and try and get a hit. We managed to kill them before they um, left the screen. I don't know what we've got going on here. Ooh, a Zvart. Okay. Let's uh, dispense with them, maybe? They're already fleeing. Nice. We have a short sword. Um, that crocodile does give me a little bit of the fear. Seem to have accustomed to live in these dungeons. No score points awarded from killing this creature. Really? Could kill you in 10 rounds. Uh, I think we, we are okay to take on, take on a crocodile. Gets hostile. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Okay, we're going to switch to our Warhammer. It's fleeing. Pull out our sling. We kill it. 70 XP. Something I've noted uh, about this game in the in the in my let's try is um, this game doesn't really mess around when it comes to leveling up. Like you really have to earn your levels. Okay, this this guy. Oh, I, he just got lucky, I think. What do we got here? We've got a bastard sword. Okay, we don't need a... Oh, we just picked up some arrows. I think we're um, pretty much good to go now with the longbow. Because we, we've we got some really nice... Um, we've got some ammunition, first of all. So let's go ahead and equip that. We've got some arrow plus one. There might be a quick button for um, changing ammo types. I wouldn't mind having a look at that real quick. Uh, yell. Oh, yeah, I forgot about yell. Uh, manage quick slots. That's, that was not correct. Um, 
unlit your lantern to hide in darkness. So you can do stealth in this game. That's interesting. Uh, and then there's a the navigation on the bottom left corner. I'm not seeing a, a quick button for ammo. Let me do a quick find here. Ammo. Switching ammunition. You can switch your current am ammunition for the current shooting weapon with Q. This is a free action and it doesn't take time. Isn't that nice? So let me just do uh, do a quick check on that. So we have arrows. Now we have arrows plus one and it's a free action. So uh, that's going to be very good for when we potentially encounter a uh, more dangerous foe. We're going to switch to our uh, Warhammer here. Um, we're going to want to... We're going to want to uh, switch to a more, uh, you know, hefty ammo type. This is a zombie. Um, I think zombies are resistant to blunt, but they are weak to slashing. Ouch. Oh. Uh, Fox comes into view. Uh, this container was trapped. Are these guys hostile? Mostly harmless. Summoned no experience points or score points awarded from killing this creature. But uh, is it hostile? Well, uh, oh god, I mean, it doesn't matter. They're they're kind of dangerous. Um, if they're summoned, then it might be that they disappear. Um, after a certain number of times. However, they are quicker than me. So, I'm, I'm gonna have to dispense with them. I only use my action surge, so that's fine. Potion of healing, scroll of magic mapping, and 24 Zorbits. I'm looking forward to the day when I can use Zorbits. So I'm going to go ahead and rest until healed and rest until stamina is recovered. Good good idea to find a safe spot for doing something like that. Uh, this is a good opportunity to ch use our longbow. Oh my god! The, that frog exploded! <laughs> secret door our, our character is very good oh god no okay we're closing that door giant centipede i don't mess with with giant centipedes or i don't know maybe i do mess with giant centipedes there's reasons i it's giant centipedes have a just a reputation oh, i kind of okay we have the homunculus homunculus are no joke either We seem to be faster than the centipede. This is good. Okay, find this. This, this is a good corridor. Oh god, why did they have to switch places? Okay, we managed to kill the centipede without taking any poison. And we killed the other guy pretty quickly too. We're, uh, we've got a good set of equipment right now. Oh no. Oh no, not more foxes. No. Level up. Heck yeah, bud. Okay, um, key ability motion, skill maximum. Uh, so we get two points to spend. Stealth is used for determining how silently and unseen a creature can act. Moving, opening a door, fighting in almost every other action causes noise that may attract nearby creatures. Stealth skill is used to check how silently these actions are performed. So, I mean, it might be useful for sure. Um, you know, the thing is, is, uh, you know, we, if we're in a situation where we're fighting something and something else, else is in the room that could potentially, um, make things more complicated for us, it would be good if they didn't automatically join the combat. But you know what I, I, my tendency is to go for one of these, but, um, what's the deal here? Why can't I level it up? Um... Range is used for ranged combat shooting and throwing projectiles. Key ability motion. We get some really cool abilities with this. Oh, once we've leveled it up a little bit. Might be good to level up our melee. We are doing some melee. We also have dodge. I seem to recall I, uh, try I upped my dodge last time. If your dodge skill is higher than your melee skill, you try to dodge attacks instead of trying to parry them. If you don't have a melee item or shield equipped, dodge is always used to determine if you can avoid an attack. Um, if you plan to emphasize melee combat, then skill points are better spent in the melee skill. Okay, well, I'm glad the game literally told me that, so let's go ahead and put a point in melee. Um, we can't do anything with these yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, continue. 
we got we leveled up this is good this is positive um some good stuff in here oh a glaive and we have another sling we're good scroll of activate golem wand of poison cloud and some more zorbits let's go ahead and close this door and we're gonna go ahead and rest and rest and we're good to go auto explore um Welcome to the dungeon, my lord. Okay, well, I, I wish I hadn't switched my weapon. Fortunately, they were kind enough to not attack me on that one round. Gulp? Oh, interesting. Well, they... Um, they just drank a potion. Wow. This is not over. I will come back. So they just teleported. Okay, they, they're gonna come back right away, I see. Well, you just messed up, my dude, because now you're at range. And at range, I have a slight advantage. I did not hit them both times. I need to... Okay, one good hit was all it took. This is where that range is going to come in handy. Uh, I got arrow, po potion of antidote, and zorbits. That was dicey. That guy did not mess around. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to switch my weapon sets. So there's our staircase down. I don't necessarily want to, you know, do that. Ouch! Motion ability dis decreased. Ma magic skill decreased. Range skill decreased. Cotton web. Um, I imagine that, yeah, I only... That, that is only effective until I uh, leave the web. Okay, we have another secret door. Oh! Uh, what are these guys? Vega pygmy. Veg veggie pygmy. Also called mold folk or moldies, or are fungus creatures that inhabit dark areas that are warm and wet, including underground caves. No experience points or score points awarded from killing this creature. Uh oh. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just a little worried that, like, if I touch the wrong thing here. Potion of true seeing. Oh, yeah, the veggie pygmy might get angry if you do that. Continue. No. Okay, I don't, I don't want to fight the veggie pick me, especially if they don't um, offer any experience reward for doing so. Just going to go ahead and take this skeleton on with my war hammer. We get a flail. Flail is 4.1 versus the 3.9. It is actually an improvement. Uh, I don't know why I wouldn't... Oh, because it only offers blunt. What I like about the Warhammer is it's blunt and pierce, which is good against both zombies and skeletons. So I don't I don't want to switch to the flail. I'll take a damage hit. This is an interesting room. We have another crocodile. Gets hostile. Yeah, I mean I don't blame them. Nice, nice. Uh, arrow usage. Um, can I not hit them? I guess I don't have line of sight. Can I hit them now? Tricky shot around the statue, but we, we managed it. Oh, they're not dead. I like the blood trail. That's a really nice added touch. There we go. I track them down and kill them. I love the little blood trail that tells us where where they where they've gone. Kind of tempted to try that tra trap. Um, sometimes it's fun to just step on a trap, you know. We have a spider. We're gonna take on the fire beetle, and we have a spider again. Now, no, not really any point in switching weapons because it's going to take a round to switch and then it's going to take another round to switch back. So I'm just going to keep my war pick, my war hammer out. Okay. So we're pretty much done for the, with this floor. We're getting pretty close. That's a Zorbo. Um, a Zorbo is friendly, in theory. I actually crit, crit hit a crocodile. So what's the deal here? Don't even think about walking away without flicking this switch. Uh, what's the Zorbo? 
Bizorbo is a small carnivorous bear covered in brown gray fur. No score points awarded from killing this creature. But it it doesn't specify that I won't get XP. And this is how we become the villain. Nice. Good clean kill. Nothing bad happened there. We, yeah, we did take a little bit of damage. I don't know when, but anyway. Let's flick the switch. It was currently in the off position. Toggle. Uh, hmm. This may be ill-advised. Quasit. Dangerous. Uh, switches to ranged. So they are a ranged creature. That quasit's quite, uh, quite fast. And this quasit also, um, has poison. Um, wand of poison cloud. Let's do this, maybe. We have a wand of poison cloud. Let's go ahead and poison both these lads. There are friendly creatures in the line of fire. I don't, I mean, if you're talking about the Zorbit or whatever his name is, I don't care. Oh, is it me? Was I the friendly creature? Uh, I, I do have a potion of antidote and we're going to health surge. Important to use your good items, you know, like this is a, I've talked about this before, but like the number one reason that people die in, in traditional roguelikes is because they don't use their good items. Our stamina is almost dead. Let's back up a bit and, uh, rest our stamina up. Um, we'll switch to Warhammer. Ouch. Ouch. That guy was tough. He had a mace. Okay, let's go ahead and close this door. Rest till healed. We'll switch to the longbow. I know there's a, don't, don't worry. I know there's an adventure that has now taken off. I don't know where they are. Nice. Took a chance there right, instead of switching to my melee. Uh, what do we got here? A oh, great axe. Bladed shield. Ooh. Offers some damage. I don't know how the damage works on shields. Maybe someone can explain that one to me. Um, I'd like to compare this bladed shield with our normal shield. Um, the great axe is going to be some really nice damage for sure. I'm just wondering, is it worth it? Because we can't use a shield and we also lose, um... You know, we, we, we lose our, our blunt and pierce. I like having that to versatility. Maybe that's what versi versatile means. So let's compare this bladed shield. This one is um, five and three, and this is six and six. So the large shield is, is better. Um, so I actually, I don't think that the bladed shield is going to be worth it. I'd rather have the protection than the extra damage. Um, all right, so we're we still need to find that adventure. They're, they're looming around somewhere. Ooh, giant bat The uh, the the enemies are crafty in this game. They know how to like flood in I, I, I can't use my regular tactic of like Bringing them to a choke point or at least not the, the same kind of choke choke point as the caves of cud Well, this guy is ranged right so um, there's some there's some fun stuff here. Um, if an enemy has an, a capital R on their corner, oh, this is better armor than what we're wearing. Um, if they have a capital R on their on the corner of their tile, then that means that they're ranged. But if they have a um, a small R, then that means they're using a um, not a ranged weapon, but a reach weapon. Which I, I like the distinction. I like that there's a, you know, the game has a built-in kind of um, transparency, like, information there. Um, that's really clever. Clever way of doing that. Humanoid zombie. Oh, okay, this shouldn't be too bad. So we've got studded armor now. I'm, I'm actually really happy about that. We've got some, we've gotten some really nice stuff on this floor. Ooh, secret door. Dust method. We should be, yeah, we're, we're like, 
kind of um, tanking damage now. Uh, I want to come back here. Yo, come back here. I think that sounded like a death sound. Oh no, they're alive still. There we go. Uh, come back and buy get my uh, get my arrows minsk and boo are here oh that's a baldur's gate reference i haven't played baldur's gate um i would like to caught in slime motion ability decreased uh we got ooh bastard sword plus one warhammer plus one heck yeah bud we've got a helmet um might be better than what we've got in some ways our current helm oh we're not actually wearing the helmet i never put the helmet on uh this offers five critical defense modifier this offers three but without the loss of um the the search pen without the search penalty basically um so this warhammer is just going to be straight up better than what we're currently wearing and that's great um also, I didn't know we started with a sling plus one. That's kind of nice. Very generous of the game. Uh, I can't remember what I was talking about now. There's something. There's an adventure about... Um, that was the last thing I can remember talking about. Oh, this spider is actually cool. Where'd the spider go? Oh, they're, they're kind of crafty. Swap places attack friendly. Maybe this game has built in like if you um, if if you're high like strong enough, then enemies will not attack you. This is melee de defense six and six. I'm pretty sure that that's the same as our kite shield. Uh, let me have a look. Kite shield is six and six. Yeah, and it's more or less I think exactly the same. More secret doors. Lots of secrets in this on this floor. Oh my god. Okay, we want to switch to a uh, ranged weapon. Back up a little bit. Yeah, I can't I can't choke um bring enemies to choke points in the same way as I do in other traditional roguelikes. A little bit worried about this centipede. Yeah, they poisoned us. That's I think that's fine. We're already over the poison. We're also almost at uh, level three already, which is kind of wild. Like I say, this game uh, doesn't really, it doesn't mess around when it comes to uh, leveling up. Vampiric Great Club? I have to imagine that means that, um, like, I, I'd like to examine that. How does one examine that? Is there a way? Uh... I don't know, but I have to imagine that me that like gives us health back. It's five um, 5.4 DPR Which is really nice um, It is only blunt it is two-handed so we would lose quite a bit of protection. I don't know I, I, I Maybe in a different run if I had found that before the shield I'm amazed there's no door here there probably is I had to sneeze and I caught the, the oh yeah Baldur's Gate that's what I was talking about nothing to explore okay um that means we should go to the nearest stairs down so capital D there we go um yeah I haven't played Baldur's Gate I kind of wanted to um for like a stream and I, I put it to a vote at one point and uh I, I, you know, like, there's a concern I have. I know that, that Baldur's Gate is an old favorite, but um, sometimes it's harder for people to um, go backwards. Oh, we have an animated brazier, huh? Deadly. Okay, we're uh, leaving that alone. Now, this kobold is uh, ranged because he's got the capital R, you see. Fleas. You better flee. We got humanoid sounds. Let's switch back to the longbow, actually. Cobalt sorcerer. Deadly. Uh, did they disappear and then summon two crocodiles? Kind of okay with that, honestly. Um, 
Okay, we, I mean, we were in a s tiny spot of trouble. Now, level two, the floor two of uh, Zorbus is where things really start to heat up. Things really start to get a little bit dicey. Um, and you have to, you have to play a little bit smarter. Humanoid corpse. Okay. Yeah, um, it, it's diff- sometimes it's difficult to go back. You, if you're not, um, familiar with the series, like, if you haven't played, uh, a game, you haven't, like, been brought up with it in some ways. Oh god, that sorcerer is back. Let's just close that door. Luckily, they don't seem to be able to close doors. Or open doors, I should say. Then it's it's really difficult to like you know um, play it when you're not you haven't really had that kind of like period of of like that honeymoon period of of like kind of enjoying it while it's new when it's fresh when it's novel, um, and so you you can end up in a situation where it's just like I I don't get it like I don't I don't not I'm not a huge fan. And, uh, what it really sucks about that is, like, clearly there's reasons to enjoy it. You know, if it has fans, there's reasons to enjoy it, right? But I don't, you know, I, 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 those, those reasons might be of their time. It might be that it's like, well, this was, uh, very influential at its time. Kind of like, you know, the original Rogue. Like, like, I could play the original Rogue and uh i could try and enjoy it for sure um but you know there's simply more advanced versions of the same game um it, it, just because it was the original influence for a game does not necessarily mean that it's like it holds up motion uh potion of mobility um i think we're okay can we make friends to this cave bear could kill you in three rounds oh my god i would like to make friends with this cave bear um control down tame you can have max spirit modifier calculated from the base of unadjusted spirit value plus one records at a time natural leader talent adds two minimum okay let's see if we can't tame it bear does not seem interested in following you oh no Fight him, bear. No. Okay. Alright, we should, we should be good. Um. Gotta rest. I'm not gonna try and tame the bear again. What do you mean, cannot rest? The, the, the bear is not hostile. Oh, God. Kobold, leave me alone. This kid, this one kobold dude could actually, like end my my game here i am actually gonna run into a room with two skeletons could actually be kinder uh all right we're gonna health no we're gonna potion of healing i might have to use my uh blink let's use a potion of blink random nearby location there we go let's just for the time being rest until healed and we'll switch weapons that was just not a good situation. There you go. Some good experience. Yeah, like, I'd like to... And I'm not saying I don't enjoy Baldur's Gate because I haven't played it yet. But I I am I am concerned that I'd find myself in a situation where it's like, yeah, I get why this was popular at the time, but I don't really uh, find it fun right now. And, you know, the, the worst part about that really is... Um, it could be that it just has like a really good story and I'm missing that and I think that the you know, there's you know um, People definitely get really attached to, to a story for a game um, And it's it's more accessible in its moment humanoid zombie. Why is that so dangerous? Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty bad in a surge. Hopefully we kill them. There we go. Close the door. Close this door. Um, I guess light that brazier. Rest until healed. Rest until recovered. This chest is locked. It needs a cobalt key. Disable the lock. 
You failed to pick the lock. You cannot pick this lock with your current skill level. Okay. Snore. What is that? Oh, it's a cave bear. I woke up the cave bear. Oops. So, you know, I I, I don't know. I, I'd like to... Um, I'd like to play Baldur's Gate. I just don't know if there'd be much of an audience for it, first of all. And I also don't know if I'd end up enjoying it. And I don't want to put myself in a situation where it's like, uh, the people who really like Baldur's Gate find find my channel, find my playthrough, and then, you know, see me complaining about this old interface thing and that old interface thing. And then, oh my God. Yeah, that, that was, uh, this is, this is dicey. Um... And then, uh, like, just kind of hate, really, like, hate me for it. And I don't really blame you, like, you know, when, like, you, you live with the game and, like, you enjoyed it. And some, in some ways, the novelty, um, of a game is still fresh for you. You know, like, you remember how you felt when you first played the game. And, um, there's a, there's still, that, that freshness is still there it's it's hard to hear someone complaining about like well yeah okay so it doesn't have like this quality of life feature and it doesn't have that quality of life feature and then maybe some of the inaccessibility is why you enjoyed it in the first place like maybe you feel like a game shouldn't be accessible um i don't agree but you know like to each their own um it, me not liking a game definitely doesn't take it take away from you um, certainly you're allowed to not like my content because of it, but you know, that's a different story So here are some new talents. I'm not sure when I can take a new talent um, But these are available to me. I think the next time I get maybe I uh, maybe the next time I level up instead of ta um, Taking a point in something I can take a talent instead, but I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade my my ranged and we're we've got a bit more health now that level up is going to be very valuable what do we got here a short spear and a dagger yeah i'm sure like people are gonna just you know in fact i've even spoken to people who have played um caves of cud and be like i have no idea how you can enjoy this game this is hot garbage um you know because it doesn't have this accessibility and that accessibility and i'm like yeah but like once you get past that then uh you know it's it's smooth sailing it's it's a great experience you should you know just give it give it a bit more time um but it's hard to convince someone of that when they're struggling with it and i don't blame them disable the lock nice we got a bit more money nice we got we got everything there I'm interested in when uh, we are potentially going to be able to spend some of these Zorbits. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Okay, well, there's a... We Our range is 1 to 8, so we can't hit them now. Can we hit them now? 9. So, no. A little bit worried about this Brazier. Animated brazier We could just like it's not terribly fast We could kite it around the um, why is that door? Closed Hey elephant want to come help me uh, fight this brazier. I bet you do Hmm no never mind you don't Okay, we want to make sure we don't accidentally um, Trap ourselves I'm just gonna kite them around this big loop here. This will take a long time, but I have the arrows for it. I'm not really doing any damage, is the unfortunate thing. Zero damage. Okay, maybe this is not worth it. Cave boar. Ooh, we got a helmet on the ground what is this helmet critical defense modifier three uh, it's pretty much exactly what we're using this barrel is full of um humanoid bones we have a what is that a great flail two-handed five 
5d uh, 5.2 blunt the cave uh, boar is alive it's a it's awake and it's alive um, I'm, I'm not putting myself in a great situation right now I really thought that brazier was like done with me hey boar you want to help me out here no okay all right I guess you don't have to I need to trap this thing. This thing is like uh, seriously uh, becoming a problem. Um, I do have, speaking of traps, I do have some traps, don't I? How does one use a trap? Seen by unfriendly creature cannot use this item right now. I see, so I can use it when I'm not currently being seen. All right, here we go. Uh, holy burst trap. Kit a fireball trap. Select a target for kit of fireball traps. Traps can be set on the dungeon floor or on closed doors. No abort. Here? Okay. Um, now, hold on. I want to also put one on the other side of here. Fireball trap. There we go. Let's see what happens. I'm seeing a spell up here. Uh, giant lizard. Someone summoned some stuff for me to fight. It's probably that gosh darn kobold. My dude, you are just a constant thorn in my side. Oh god. Why did I have to trap the door right as this dude appears? All right, um, time to blink, I think. Blink time. Oh my god. We're still having to deal with this dude. The worst part is he didn't even, like, walk into my trap. Okay, hold on. We can trap this door. Withering trap. Uh, necrotic field around the target creature that prevents the target from regenerating health or stamina. Summon animal trap. Slime trap, holy burst. Three point three times three sized ball of holy energy at the creature that sprung the trap. The ball deals holy damage, meaning the only evil that only evil aligned creatures are damaged. Most undead creatures take double damage from this trap. Um, well, that's not really useful. I think we want to do a kit of summon. You failed to set the trap. I think that's because the the thing appeared. Um, let's do it like right here. Nice. Uh, okay, you guys need to actually come help me though. Okay, let's um switch to our Warhammer. Try and hit this thing. Health surge. Let's use our health surge. God, they hit hard. Okay, we can't abide by this. They kill that crocodile as if it was nothing. Oh, we actually hit it pretty hard. They, uh, maybe. No, they, I think that was them killing the crocodile, actually. My god, this is just not going well. Really? Oh, heck yeah, bud. Wow, he's taking out the boar. This brazier sucks. Oh my god. Put a couple of closed doors between us and them. This uh, this dungeon has been kind of a menace. Large animal movement. Is that the elephant? That is the elephant. Wouldn't have been ne Wouldn't it be nice if the elephant um, had clo um, killed that brazier? Alas, what is this stuff on the ground? Potion of endurance. Oh no, this is never mind. I'm, I'm being dumb.
There's still this trap on the ground. What do you mean? What do you mean the prison? How did you get back here? Oh my god, dude. You are like the biggest problem ever. I don't know how to deal with this. I seriously do not know how to deal with this brazier. There's a, there's a, a switch here. I may as well toggle it. Yeah, I figured something like that was going to happen. Bad to the bone. Oh, you guys are friendly. Friendly skeletons. I did not see that coming. Nice. Uh, you guys want to die to a... Oh. You guys want to die to a... A, a, a brazier? I have a... I like a little troop now. This is nice. Gorilla. Hopefully the gorilla is friendly to us. Uh, is that... What is that? Oh, Germain. Oh, you know what? Honestly, I, I'm, uh, I welcome something as pedestrian as a germain. These uh, skeletons are blocking me. Okay, I managed to kill them. Good. Okay, animal movement. We've got a crocodile. A crocodile is actually... We're like on good terms with a crocodile somehow. Um, we are being, like, constantly attacked by skeletons. But we managed to kill them. We got some stuff. More Zorbits. Insect combat. Oh, we've got, like, an adventure here. Well, well, well. Another fool dreaming of godhood. First, you have to beat me. You will find out that I'm quite the son of god. The son of a god. Okay. You ruined my day. It was going perfect until you showed up. Where did he go? Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. A Grimlock. I don't want him to kill my, uh, my poor Skellingtons. I think he's dead. Okay, we got a human warrior. A human warrior could, could mess this up pretty bad. Wow, what's this? Another uh, Zorbacil? Zorbacil? I can do that too, my dude. No one's gonna best me in ranged combat. He's fleeing. He's fleeing the wrong way. Dead. Nice. Uh, got some arrows. We can always use more arrows. I don't think there's any reason not to use arrows. Hide armor. Ooh, what do we got here? Uh, it's, it's actually worse than what we're using. So I want to open up all of these. There's undoubtedly going to be some baddies, but it's okay. We've got a nice little troop now. Nice. Might want to wait for our companions to heal. Oh, we got a, another adventure over there. Just die already. I think one of my skeletons died. Falchion. I don't know how you say, how you say Falchion, but I, I, I like Falchions. I've... Um, ever since uh, Demon Souls, I've been a huge fan of the Falchion. Robe of Protection plus one. Well, that takes me back to about uh, an hour ago. Wow, it's already been an hour. Ouch. I need to kill that bat. Cover my uh, my duo of skeletons. It's been downgraded from a, a trio. Nice. Wow, that was easy. Uh, let's let's go ahead and heal up. Goblin shaman. Uh, that's potentially dangerous. Yeah, these guys love to summon in dudes. Also, where did the dog come from? They are using ranged. There we go. Oh, they blinked. I will be back with our warriors. Well, that's okay, dude. I mean, we, we took you out pretty, pretty handily. 
Yeah, I'm uh, I'm really enjoying this. Oh, warn the boss. Cobalt comes into view. Okay, well, let's uh, switch to our ranged. Oh, God, the cobalt sorcerer. Maybe, maybe now's the time. We, maybe we can take them out. Um... Is there two cobalt sorcerers? I really hope not. Okay, we are taking some nasty damage. We're gonna health surge. They're energy bolting us pretty badly. Okay, we need to run away. I, I can't, couldn't tell. Did something die over there? A little bit worried. Oh, some goodies. Kit of arrow trap. Um, I wonder if that thing is. Yeah, it's hostile. Okay, let's go ahead and kill it. We should be able to kill a, a fire beetle, no, no problem at this point. Yep. Okay, so let's rest until healed, and then until restored. I'm, I'm pretty sure our, our uh, skeletons are probably all dead, which sucks. Oh. Looking for me? Not really. Yeah, um, these summons are, are a real problem basically all of the time. Humanoid footsteps. Uh, we are... We are in a blink situation. Can I use a cold... Um, let's use a cloud here. Let's do that. Can we use it again? One to five. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. This is what I wanted. There we go. Our tribe will kill you. I mean, you can say that, but I'm protected for now. You need to stop summoning things. It's like seriously a problem. I'm going to health surge. Oh my god, stop it. Poison cloud. Use another poison cloud. I really want to kill this thing. I'm, I'm so sick and tired of this kobold sorcerer. Yes! You're dead! I took, used up all of my, um, wand of, of poison cloud, but it's, it's done. Uh, I can't use, oh god, please don't die now. Potion Timberly boosts necrotic resistance, endurance, stamina points, grants immunity to resistant restraining effects. I don't, I think I'm going to die. Oh God. Close the door. Potion of healing. Oh my God. We're, we're alive. I can't believe it. Okay. Um, I should be able to take that guy out. There really wasn't a lot left. The, 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 the mage was like the worst thing. Oh, ouch. To be fair, ouch. Ouch again, my dude. Dual shot. Okay, this guy actually has some pretty good uh, abilities. Uh, I am failing. He won't let me close the door. Okay, I, I, I cannot take this guy on yet. Clearly, uh, coming back was a mistake. Good to know. Lesson learned. Uh, oh god. Goblin Shaman. Deadly. I know you are there somewhere, elf. That's fine. Taking crocodile damage from both ends is not my idea of a good time. I think he resummoned it, and actually that means that they disappeared. 
Cults and Cabals. This book documents sh clandestine cults. Scroll of Vampiric Weapon. Really? How long does that last for? We have some scrolls I haven't been using. It activates an inactive golem. Bump against an inactive golem to use it. Golems are not counted as real recruits. Cur and chance the currently equipped weapon melee arranged to have the vampiric property. If two suitable weapons are equipped in the active weapon set, the last least enchanted item is chosen. There's a chance it'll be destroyed. 100% chance to succeed in enchanting. Well, let's, let's do that. The weapon grows radiantly. The enchantment was successful. So now it's a vampiric warhammer plus one. That's amazing. Book of Zorbus three. Deities and demigods. I like it when a game has books. This guy is a, a real pain in my side. Uh, I need to get out of here. I should try taming the dog. You'd think if I could tame anything, it would be the dog. Yeah, those summons don't last forever. Um, all right, let's close some of these doors. This, uh, this, this floor has been a nightmare. I, 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 the fact that I'm alive, honestly, I think s speaks loads. Um, undisabled trap, four unlooted containers. There's a way to go to, like, nearest unlooted container. Tracked creature, blocked, unblock. Um, what I want to do is I want to go over here, because I, oh, is that the direction of that stupid brazier? I haven't checked. I haven't gone over here. I haven't gone down here. So let's check out. Maybe there's some. Maybe there's some good stuff over here, like a nice potion. Potion of extra endurance. We're gonna switch to our longbow just in case. Some bullets. What do we got in here? A cave bear. Well, the cave bear is cool with us for now. Just don't mess with them. Let's do a control E. I'm feeling bold. There's the stupid brazier. Oh my god. What is that? Cobalt sorcerer, I killed you. Yes, yes, I know. Implying that there's like only the one. Oh, we're actually doing we we actually killed them. We're doing some nice damage. And our, my trap that I set off I, that I set up like half an hour ago actually went off. That's incredible. Fighting gnolls. Gnolls are basically kind of like upgraded goblins. There's minor differences, but they're they're ba they're kind of like hyena versions of, of goblins. Like I guess if goblins were, um, you could attribute goblins to be kind of like um, lizardy. They're not really. I, I understand they're not lizardy, but you know what I mean. Like they're kind of scaly. I don't know. They're green. Then, then kobolds could be like, uh, or gnolls are, are kind of like the hyena version of goblins. Okay, so, oh, god damn it. Go away, I hate you. I'm so sick of this brazier. <laughs> Maybe I could get him to step on the switch, on this trap. Wow. Monsters are kind of clever in this game. They can, like, see stuff. Like, they can see what you're doing. And they're like, yeah, I don't think so, bud. Nice try. Gremlin. Hopefully we can kill that gremlin before the brazier makes its way over here. The gremlin did not take a lot of damage. Splits. Oh, I get it. God, the brazier. 
I really just don't want to have to deal with this brazier anymore. Hey, gorilla, you want to help me? I know I have a potion of healing. I understand that. Okay, I just need to kill the main gremlin. Fortunately, the brazier doesn't seem to be able to open doors because it's a brazier. And I mean, honestly, if it could open the door, I would have some serious questions there. That cave bear is apparently um, hostile to us. Like if the brazier could open up a door, then I have to I have to wonder what what is going on how are they opening the door this dun you know dungeons are not exactly made with accessibility in mind you know they they i, I would well, i mean like you know maybe the door doesn't have a doorknob there's always that you know like I, the day that i meet a door not a door in a dungeon without a knob is a day that i i fear i have a newfound fear you know like uh what's the the t-shirt I have no fears. I fear nothing. You find a door in a dungeon without a doorknob. I have one fear. Um. So, I mean, I didn't really want to have to do this song and dance again, but looks like we are. And the good news is the sorcerer is like right up in our grill. So we can go ahead and hit, get a nice couple of shots off on them. Uh, hoping... Okay, we, we are in a danger zone for sure. We need a couple good crits. Please. Okay, potion of healing. I need to kill this thing. Um... You know, before we find ourselves in a situation where I'm dying, let's, uh, let's back up and, and do the proper thing. It sucks like backing up and healing because you know that like all of the monsters have done the same thing. Like they're they're they they're fully healed now. Spell failure, good. I should uh, I should try using traps more. That's something I could do. Like I could I, I could have like backed up and, and set up some traps. I need to kill you. Oh God. I died. No. Down he goes. You have died. Well, honestly, that went a lot better than my first bout with Zorbus. Um, I was definitely way too bold. I could have definitely taken that like taking that on um if i had just like backed up and set up some traps um yeah i could have i could have done that a lot more smartly but i was getting kind of like almost impatient with that guy well maybe we can get to a point where like if i get to like level four maybe we can actually start getting some interesting talents um and uh and actually see some of the later parts of the game but either way if you enjoyed this definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy